With popular draft class coming in 2024, WNBA utilizes NBA All-Star Weekend for new marketing strategy. Indianapolis for the WNBA, it just worked out that the NBA All-Star Game site and the team with the WNBA number one pick are in the same city. Indianapolis was awarded the 2024 NBA All-Star Game in 2020, the city was supposed to host the game in 2021, but it was moved to Atlanta because of COVID-19. Then, the Indiana Fever won the number one pick in the draft in December 2023. It was a serendipitous moment. But it was also one that worked out perfectly for the WNBA's new marketing strategy. That's a marketer's dream WNBA Chief Marketing Officer Phil Cook said in an interview with Indistar. It's not brain surgery, I didn't have to think long and hard about that. Cook joined the WNBA as the league's first CMO in 2020, tasked with bringing more fans to the game. So far, it's worked. The 2023 WNBA season was the most watched season in 21 years, the league announced in September. But with one of the most popular draft classes in WNBA history, possibly including Caitlin Clark, Paige Quekers, Angel Reese and Cameron Brink, the league sees more potential to bring the average NCAA women's basketball fan to the WNBA. The WNBA is debuting the draft day stage at the Indiana Convention Center during the three days of NBA crossover which it markets as a walkthrough experience. Fans can recreate the experience of being the number one pick in the draft, walk out on stage, and customize it to whichever team they would like. Multiple former number one picks will make appearances in the draft day stage, including the Indiana Fever's Olivia Boston, Ryan Howard of the Atlanta Dream, Sabrina Ionicu of the New York Liberty, Joel Lloyd of the Seattle Storm, and the Las Vegas Aces A.J. Wilson. Arika Gunbowl, Natasha Cloud, and Brianna Jones will also make appearances throughout the weekend, 